this is what I use, y'all. This is a no-no. I knew that I was taking a chance because they didn't have the L'Oreal Faria High Lift in the box. That's the only one I trust. That's the only one I will use. But I was desperate, and it's been a while, and I've kind of forgot. But now that I mixed it up, I realized it wasn't lift. Because as soon as you put on any bleach, booster, high lift, whatever you want to call it, it should automatically start turning brown, coppery. Then it goes orange. Then it starts going to yellow, you know, depending on how dark your head is and how much it lifts. Evidently, despite this being a cheap, dark, and lovely, like I said, this is no, no. This wasn't doing it. It was starting to. But it should immediately start doing it. It took like maybe seven minutes before I could start seeing the turn, turn a little brown. Thank God I had a package of high lift, lift you up to eight levels bleach powder already. And I just mixed it in what I already used with a little bit more, um, a little bit more developer. And uh, I wouldn't use no more than a 20 or 30 bar, okay? Because 10 developer don't do number no deposit. 20, 30, 40 and all that, that lifts it. And by it being the eight lifter, lifts up to eight levels, I didn't need no more than the 20 anyway. So I'm going to come back with the results, y'all. Okay, hey, here's the results. If I had had some high lifting developer um, cream, it comes with you. It's the powder and it's the developer. But there's also a lightener. And it's liquid. And that comes separate. It don't usually come when you go to the Sally's and nothing like that. But if you're lucky enough to get that L'Oreal high lift, it's not regular L'Oreal. It's L'Oreal by Feria, F-E-R-I-A. I'm going to put some of this on there. Not so much for growth, but just so I'm going to be all dry. I got flakes all in my head. I always had that problem. So I'm going to put a little bit. Like I said, this started going down. This was like almost like right to here. And I started mixing my own stuff, mixed with it. <sighs> so, yes. And by me having, I think I'm about, I say I'm about 40% gray. 35, 45% gray. Not enough to just let my hair grow out and let it do what it do. Because I'm not good with that salt and pepper. Gray, 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 black, 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 gray, gray. I don't like that. Because if I was all black, I'd be cool with the black sometimes. If I was all silver, I'd be cool with the silver sometimes. But the good thing about having gray hair and using bleach, uh, going blonde, lifting your hair, is that it's going to blend. You see that white? It's going to go into like a platinum look. And you can also, they also got some stuff that make you go white too. I'm not really ready for that. It's okay, but it don't really do nothing for my skin tone, in my opinion. I think a lot of people look great with it, but I don't like it, so... Yes, I am a licensed cosmetologist. I know I've been doing hair a long time. I come from a family full of them. So I learned uh, from them. And then when I went to school, I learned, you know, as far as measurements and chemicals and stuff like that. Because a lot of people can do hair really good. They can, like, lay some weave or do uh, good styles, put some relaxers in. But a lot of people have you falling out and they don't use the right... Uh, they don't use the right chemicals because because you're getting a relaxer or a perm, as you may call it. That don't mean that you can just get any kind. You got to get the kind that goes for your situation. If you never had a relaxer or a perm before, you should use a certain uh, measurement, a certain uh, kind. You should use like an alkaline. You shouldn't necessarily use, so you should use a sodium as opposed to calcium. Because you virgin. But anyway, that's another subject for another time. I just want to show y'all the results. And I would have kept it, like I said, the gray and the black. But it just make me look washed out. I'm not happy with that. In the house, it's cool. But when I got to go to the doctor, or I just want to do some videos, you know. I might want to freeze myself up. Haven't been doing much videos yet. I'm going to kind of just repost some things and talk and do my little story time until I come back from my doctor's appointment because I have been having dizzy spells and I don't want to overdo it because I know something wrong. It's either my iron is low or my blood pressure is up. It's something going on. And I'm going to find out next Thursday and uh, I'm going to do what I got to do and get my energy back because other than that, I feel great. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Let me know what y'all think. If you got any questions about coloring your hair, and I would not ever advise anybody to bleach their hair, whether it's in a box or whether it's going to the salon. Unless you just got real short hair 
or you got enough money to keep it up. I would advise you to just get weave uh, pieces. I don't wear weave my hair long. Okay, get a couple of blonde tracks just for the places you want some peekaboo blonde. You see what I'm saying? Well, some peekaboo red. But color is not as bad as bleaching. Bleaching is really serious, especially if you got length. If you're going to get like this much hair or maybe no more than two or three inches, then you can go and get you that L'Oreal Fairy up. Go ahead and, you know, do some research uh, on YouTube or whatever. Actual beautician, what you need to do. And go and slap it on that. You should be fine. But if you're talking about you got hair, 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 and you trying to, mm -mm, you ain't going to have no hair, hair, hair. Anyway, y'all, talk to you later.